live here from the CES 2019 in Vegas, Miss my best buddy. Uh, we're going to make a great episode where we learn all about startups, we learn all about corporates, and we learn about why you should attend the CES next year. Thank you. Great. High five. standing next to Olga, you're responsible in Ukraine for what? For investors, I'm managing investors as a joke. I'm the executive director of Ukrainian Venture Capital and Private Equity Association, UVCA. Okay, and you're doing that for how many years? Um, for four years or something. We met three years ago at the Dutch Pavilion at the grand opening. Uh, you were there with your friend Sasha um, from Voice of America. Yeah, he's a journalist from Voice of America in Washington. And I was really impressed um, by the, uh, the, the presence of the Ukraine already three years ago. What, because what makes it really special is that you're doing it all by yourself. There's no government support, right? Yeah, definitely. This is totally private initiative, like zero grievance, zero dollars from the government in this initiative. And we founded it uh, actually the year that uh, we were interviewing the Prince three years ago. Uh, yeah. So, one of the first questions I have for this little doku is why is it so important for startups to be here? For everything, basically. You can meet whoever you want. I mean, the dealers, the distributors, the investors, uh, your customers. So, I think this is the place to be. And uh, early January, there is no better place for a tech company which is doing something in IoT and hardware, um, except CES. So, we spent the morning at Eureka Park just wandering around, seeing all these innovative examples of startups from all over the world. Innovative solution is to, to put together uh, a full body capture suit with backpack PC and headset to make possible to the players uh, in location-based entertainment to move freely in large-scale maze. It's a coffee and tea brewing alarm clock, so it wakes you up um, with a freshly brewed cup of coffee or tea. We're Kepler Vision Technologies. Our innovative uh, product is about body language recognition. We are the very first ones in the world to do this. And body language recognition came in. I say, that's very interesting, and I look like this. Or I say, that's very interesting, but I stand like this. Or I say, that's very interesting, and I stand like this. Yeah, so this is the most comprehensive pack color we currently uh, have in the market. So it has all-in-one features, like six different wearables in one slick device. This is a wearable device that you're seeing here for young children with respiratory disorder. We place this device on the chest of a child when they are sleeping at night. And in the event that they actually um, develop an asthma attack, for example, we notify the parents immediately. Well, startups have become really popular over the past few years. A lot of people are talking about them, corporates, uh, the, the public, governments. But for you, what's the real, the true uh, importance of startups? Well, if we talk about the corporates, they're less if I could use the word agile for you know like new inventions for changes it's more difficult for them to basically move and to adapt their production their processes to new trends and so on and they also don't want to risk and in that case startups are coming and they can be this add-on uh, which will help uh, the world and the companies itself themselves to you know like um, change for the better, to um, imp implement different innovations, to make the world a better place. Very trivial phrase, but it's <laughs> actual here too. And it's, it's cool to see that the startups are really getting embraced. Thank you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> getting embraced um, by these corporates and like events like CES, uh, companies, investors, um, it's also important that they can make money out of startups. Well, startups are business. I mean, uh, startups, companies and investors, they all want to earn money. It's normal. But uh, the difference is in the timing. I mean, startups are like the long term shot. Company, businesses and companies want to uh, get some, you know, like profits more quicker than uh, startups. So it, it's all about money, probably. Yeah, 
that, that makes sense. So we have the uh, the investment part, we have the innovative part. Are, are there other angles we should look at, at the importance of startups? Uh, well, social impact. I'm very much uh, concerned about this topic. And uh, for me personally, it's important uh, that my job and uh, well other companies and projects have some kind of social impact to, you know, like to keep our planet alive <laughs> for much more years. So I... That's, that's no joke. This is really serious. You're really serious about that. I, I am. <laughs> Talking with Olga was really a bliss because we share the passion for startups and their innovative thoughts and brave embracement of challenges of the world. For us at Nalta, it's important to be here, to be part of this innovative landscape of corporates and startups, to meet new people, to get inspired, to share our thoughts and ideas and passion, to learn from the large corporates what they are doing, how they are presenting themselves. And we asked the startups what is their reason to be at CES. Uh, we're here at CES um, just to kind of meet more distributors um, on the US side, uh, USA side because um, we're from London. Well, actually, this is our first big show time. Uh, we want to get coverage, we want to get exposed, we want to get feedback on our product and we're also looking for any kind of cooperations with larger companies. This is completely new technology. It's never been done before. We are blindfolded where the market uh, can be and that's what we're uh, trying to discover here. Now we are at CES because uh, we want to have a, a worldwide visibility. Well, I'm at CES because um, we hope to showcase our product to interested distributors as well as the world about what we are doing and to spread the news around to let people know about this innovative solutions here. So we talked about um, the importance of startups. Um, we talked about your role into this world of startups. And now we're here at CES and I really would like to share with the viewers why it's important to go to the CES and for us a, a short story is that three years ago we were here for the first time with our startup Datum Pricker, Kelly, Worldwide Kelly and it gave us a huge podium to talk about our company but for you what's the real benefit of going to the CES? What is there to find for our viewers? It depends, of course, on the sphere and on the sector where the person works and the role in this sector. But I think that this is a good place to find a lot of partners, um, to find the new ideas also, to see what is happening, where the world is moving and what is the future of basically everything. I mean, the future of mobility, the future of basically the workplace, smart, city. smart cities, even the jobs, which jobs would be, uh, will exist in future. Uh, like and by future I mean several years already because uh, those innovations that are here they're really disrupting the some some of the professions so uh, I think this is a really nice place even you're if even if you're not from tech if in, if you're not like engineer or developer or whatever this is a very nice place to visit and indeed this is the hugest conference uh, in tech in the world it's it's really amazing and and for us being here at the start of the new year you know everything can happen this year you got your plans but you want your plans to be really catchy and innovative and meeting those inspiring people inspiring people like you that's that's really the, the best thing that can happen to CES at least that's my point of view <laughs> exactly I agree with you uh, yeah it's very inspiring you can understand that uh, the future is exactly here or and you're already in the past probably and uh, everything is basically possible so come back to the startups I feel at home here at Eureka Park there where the young entrepreneurs are where uh, the really inspiring people are to share the message of innovation and new products that's cool for me and that would be my call to action to you come here next year visit Eureka Park are you working for CS <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying okay, to so you want them to hire you I know I see <laughs> I want to thank you Olga for your time and um, have great fun you have a dinner tonight it's Ukraine dinner? Yes, we have a traditional Ukrainian dinner for Ukrainians uh, and there are a lot of them here and with booths or just as visitors. So we'll have a party, small party. So uh, thanks again and see you soon. <laughs>